Okay, so I got the note from UCLA that I've got approved. And I have here on my S9, because it's getting hot, so I'm doing the OnePlus again, the, uh, the tests I'm going to need, the, the tests that I have ordered right now. Uh, so we have a uh, uh, bone density test on my spine and hip, which, by the way, sounds like agony. Uh, we have a chest x-ray front and lateral. We have myocardial perfusion spec. A stress test on my heart. I don't know if they're gonna if they're gonna make me run or if they're gonna give me a drug or something, but yeah. And then another uh, CT scan. Uh, no, without contrast, which is interesting. I, so uh, that's what we're looking at for tests right now. And I don't have an appointment date yet, uh, but I do have. You know, um, my evaluation was finally approved, uh, my chart's being sent to the assistant to start scheduling evaluations, and then the other assistant will schedule the other appointments. I will need to come to the Monday appointment with my primary caregiver, which is no problem, we're roommates, um, and both ca caregivers to the social work appointment. Uh, which would be in early February, but she lives in New York State, so we're going to have to see if we can get that done virtually. My primary will be there, of course, um, and he did answer, I did ask about that, and he, oh, what am I doing? <laughs> the glare. Um, and he did say that uh, maybe it could be done virtually, so we're going to have to talk to somebody and see how we can work this out, because I, I can't afford to fly her out. For like a day you know and she's got her own life she's she's already putting her her life on hold you know when when if this is gonna happen so we'll see fingers crossed that they'll let her uh, zoom in or whatever I mean I can't imagine in this age of COVID that this isn't kind of common like you need two people to take care of you and like if one of them lives in another state like you know Virtu I mean, it, it, it's a lot of information, and, and she's going to need it, of course, but she can still get the information virtually, so. so we'll see. I don't know if the appointment is this Monday. Again, we have no appointments. He's, he's forwarding the stuff to the guy to do the, uh, Michelle, to do the appointment, the first appointment, and then Jackie, whoever Jackie is, male or female, I don't know, uh, will do the rest. But the first one, I don't think is going to be Monday. If it is, it is. I mean, that's the way life goes. So, I'm glad at least I know what tests are going to be asked of me. I don't know if there's going to be any more. I'm surprised, though, there's not another ultrasound. Like, the one that feels like being punched. I'm really surprised that that hasn't been ordered, but maybe it will be later if I need it. I think they're going on the assumption that I'm, like, I'm stage 4 cirrhotic from that blood test. Um, I don't know. We will see. But this has been a very major day. Uh, I won't say I'm freaking out, because that's not the right word. It is not freaking out. Uh, but there's a <sighs> probably anxiety <laughs> here and here in my stomach. I feel everything in my stomach. So it looks like early February, though, is going to be the bulk of it. Which is good. Let's just get it over with, get it done, and uh, see where we are. I need to call Dr. Yang. Oops, sorry. Please don't remember that name. <laughs> Um, and let her know what's going on. Um, I will get back with any further news, but thank you for watching. Talk to you soon.